So we're here live, MTV, MedTech Voice, at uh, the NAS 2023 Los Angeles Conference with Betsy Grunch, yep. neurosurgeon. Nice to meet out you. Out of Atlanta. Great yes. to meet you too. I follow yes. you on social media. I think you do a fantastic job. Thank you. Sharing content about the day in the life. And, and so I thought it would be great to, to share with the audience, our collective audience, what you got out of this conference, what you came here to see, maybe what you're excited about trying when you go back to Georgia. Yeah, I think coming to conferences such as NAS will give us an idea as surgeons, like what's the newest, latest breaking stuff on the market that can kind of help us take better care of patients and allow us to do our best work in the operating room. So I've been excited exploring the exhibit hall today to learn more about what's upcoming and uh, and spines. Probably for me, the most exciting part is seeing the new um, ultra minimally invasive techniques and, and uh, technology like endoscopy to, to help us uh, do, do our work in a much smaller scale. Mm -hmm. So I've been, been pretty excited about that. Is that something that you market for you and your practice used as a way to shape the, the scope of, of the type of practice that you have? Yeah, I think, you know, Minimally invasive spine is really where the market is going and where patients want to have their, um, you know, have their care done in the least invasive fashion to get them, you know, what they need done and, and not have to have such a long recovery. So I think options for, um, for that, not only for the patient and the recovery, but just from a marketing standpoint, robotics and end endoscopy is really where I think the spine market is going and where patients are seeking their care. So I think if you offer that in your practice, it's definitely gonna bring more market share to your area. So yeah. That's awesome. All right, last question here for Betsy. Do you have patients asking you about certain technology? Do you ever have patients asking you for specific procedures or technology? I'm just curious. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think that knowledge is power and I think patients are more educated now with the availability of, of information on not only the internet and websites, but social media. If they want something and they see a technology that they like, even though they may not be a candidate for it, I think that they'll search out that, that person that may offer it and then come in for that, that conversation. Um, and I've, I've definitely had that experience in my practice, whether it's a, a disc replacement implant that they feel like they, they needed, but maybe they're not a candidate for a disc replacement. It just brings them into your practice and they have a trust in you. And then knowing all the technology that's on the market and, and offering that and, and having a conversation around that is important. Really appreciate you stopping and yep. chatting with us here. <laughs> if anyone wanted to learn more about you or find you in the Atlanta area or, or in general, where would, you, mm -hmm. where would you point them to go? Well, you can find me on almost all social media channels. I am nice. um, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. YouTube, LadySpineDoc, or Betsy Grunch. So, um, so yeah. We could talk about that. We, <laughs> we could. I, I love that. Uh, I love talking about it. Okay. So you can find me there. Well, I talk about it all the time. Anything spine, family, healthcare related, humor. Why do you do that? Um, it's just a fun outlet for me. I think I'm so far into practice that I, I wanted something else to kind of keep me busy and keep me uh, entertained. And it's really become just fun to educate the public on what we do, because mm -hmm. I think spine and back pain is something that almost all Americans experience in their life That's and right. it's such a like a mystery box I think for a lot of people and I like opening up that conversation and knowledge for them to kind of learn about it. it's fun. So. Well I think you do a fantastic job with humor with kind of some of the things that people can get around and get behind and become fans of yours and I certainly <laughs> am one so I really appreciate, appreciate it. you taking the time yeah. with me. Yeah nice to meet you. Yeah likewise. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.